He gets excited, he opens the gate, he rushes in, and you take the halter off and he runs. We want. Now that I'm done working with Creek, I need to turn him out. And I want to do it in such a way that he's calm and he doesn't get excited. Sometimes in the morning, if he's in at night, sometimes the feeders will take him out and he can kind of run off. And so I want to see if we can work on this a little bit. I don't want this to become a, a buildup, a place of anxiety where he comes to the gate, he gets excited, he opens the gate, he rushes in and you take the halter off and he runs. We want to try to avoid, avoid that. Now, if I just got him good with brushing at the gate, almost like acting like I'm not turning him out, but I'm just going to work with him here on the grass. He, you can see he wants to eat. He could use a little work with that, but I might just brush a little bit and then maybe I get a little closer to the gate. But instead of just opening it right up and going in, maybe I hang outside of it for a little bit. See if we can brush a little. Now he's obviously looking at, at it and he's looking at his buddies who are off into the, the distance a little bit, but I might just brush a little. And then instead of going right in, turn, and maybe we walk away. In fact, it'd be pretty interesting to just show him, say, hey, here's a gate. Would you like to go in there and send him in, have him turn around? And then maybe I ask him to come right back, right back out again. So maybe I do a little, a little groundwork on my way to his paddock, turn, halt. See if we can get that a little easier. Good. And try to keep him nice, nice and, and relaxed with me. Now, when I open the gate, the way that this gate's orientated, I'll stand on his offside on the right. And it's great because he's sort of waiting and then I'll ask him to come in, turn, and we could come right back out. His other, his other horse friends are, are further out in the field so that would work out great. So you could go in and out a few times. We could come in I guess I'll go out one more time because he got a little excited there. Wait, we could wait out here. Come on in, send him through. You could do a little, a little groundwork in the paddock. If there's other horses nearby, shoo the other horses away. So you clear yourself a space, a nice spot to work. But he's expecting to be turned loose and I'm not going to do that. We're just going to come right back out. And I could even close the gate. Now I've made whole lessons of this where I'm able to work on groundwork. I'm able to take the horse to, to the arena or, or wherever I'm going but then bring him back to the paddock, do some groundwork along the way, and pretty soon they're not going to be anxious anymore because it's just another spot to work, just like the ring would be, or just like the arena or field or wherever you're going. Now, he's getting to the point where he's fairly calm about it, so we'll open up that gate. We'll have him wait. I'll ask him in. Turn. Now, for a lot of horses that rush off, you could reach up and you could put the lead rope around their neck. You remember when we worked in the ring with having them lower their head, we could ask them to drop their head down. I could always take them back out. 
but he feels pretty good. He's fairly calm. But now when I drop the halter, what I might do, I might tip his nose towards me. This is a little tip that a lot of people miss and that they don't do. But tip him to you a little bit because they'll stay relaxed. But as I drop the halter, I still have the lead around his neck. Then I might tip his nose towards me a little bit more. I'll slip that rope back, keep my hand on the bridge of the nose, and I'll turn and walk away and keep my posture low. And I'm going to leave, and I love that he stays with me. You probably don't believe me that he's a horse that runs away, but he does. And good, and now he sees his friends. And I'll just sort of casually close the gate, watch your nose there, buddy. Close that gate, and I, I love that he stays there with me. He's still focused. That's excellent. That's an excellent result. Now, if I can only get that um, for the feeders and for everybody else, that turns it up.